Hey, good morning, YouTube. Uh, it's Wednesday morning. It's a balmy 18 degrees out down here in uh, southwest Missouri. This is Cal coming to you from the little man cave studio where I do all my vlogging on a wing and a prayer. And uh, glad you tuned in with me today. Uh, today I want to talk to you about uh, birds and uh and other things you say what a what a weird topic for today but uh i've just been out feeding my birds uh this morning uh, i got them some black oiled sunflower seeds out there and some mealworms and uh i uh haven't looked out the window yet but i'm sure they've already found it uh it doesn't take them long to find those seeds and stuff but i love to feed the birds uh, especially during the winter time when it's cold and uh, they can't find uh, seeds it's all iced over today I went to Walmart this morning to get some seeds and uh, it was really slick I, I could not get up my driveway it's kind of slope and uh, I've got a 700 foot long paved driveway and it's just all iced over I got out okay but coming back up the little incline I couldn't get any traction I had to finally spin out and get over onto the grass and drive on the grass. Even the grass was froze over and I uh, spun, but I finally made it up to the house and parked on the yard. Uh, but uh, it's not supposed to get above freezing for uh, well over a week, so I don't think we'll be going out anywhere. Uh, we've got plenty of food stocked up, so I think we're okay for that. Wife and daughter and grandsons don't need to go anywhere. The schools are all closed due to uh, the temperature bus kids can't stand out at the bus stop and uh, in this kind of cold weather it's just it's just too dangerous too cold you get frostbite here real real quick but uh anyway uh in my free time everybody's got free time what we do with our free time and our hobbies and so on and so forth uh, I was uh, for a long while doing uh, paracord braiding and making stuff for the motorcycle community uh, get back whips and uh, bracelets and uh, vest extenders and necklaces and all kinds of stuff wallet change and that kind of thing but uh, kind of got out of that I, I made a pretty good profit on selling that stuff but uh, it, it kind of died down and uh, so I decided to get out of that and I decided to take up carving and I've always wanted to do carving and kind of special projects and I want to show you some stuff that I've made uh, in my free time and my carving stuff and uh, I uh, I told you I was going to talk about birds but I'm going to show you something else first I'm going to show you uh, these little roosters that I make uh, that's just made out of a tree branch and I painted it up and cut a, a section of tree into a disc and drilled some holes and mounted the little rooster in there I painted him up I make some that also are not painted and uh, yeah, I just make those for people who like them. My wife sits them on the windowsill in the kitchen in, in her office to show people and stuff. So those are cute little things to make. Uh, I make those little roosters. And uh, then I make these uh, spoons. My wife's got a little bucket full of spoons, wooden spoons that I carve. I'm going to show you some. This is the very first one I made. I made this out of a tree branch and uh, I, I carved it. It's kind of a long slender dipping spoon. Now I don't know if you can see this real close. I'll try to get it up close. But the back side of the dipping part, of the actual spoon part, is uh, shaped and formed like an acorn. And I made this out of an oak tree branch and it's got a kind of a long thin slender handle on it but that was my first attempt at making those um, I've get a I've got a little kind of a dipper there with a pattern on the handle and what I call a little boat tail on it where you can kind of put your uh, thumb and forefinger and dip down and uh, that's kind of cute, but I make these just freehand carbon out of a block of basswood. Uh, here's a little what I call a coffee dipper made out of walnut. And uh, you can see that 
quite cute. I've made some of these for my sisters and I, I give them away, but most of these sell for uh, 10 to 15 bucks a piece at least for these little mini spoons. Uh, I've got one here that's got a curved handle on it, kind of a shepherd's crook handle that I made. It's kind of a long little uh, slender dipper there with uh, little indentations on the side of the dipper there. Kind of a side view and uh, but that's kind of cute. Um, I'll show you a little mini mini. This is a little really a little mini spoon. It's got a flat beaver tail uh, handle on it. You can see there with a tiny tiny little uh, spoon part on it that's my what I call my extra mini my mini mini um, maybe a micro spoon is what that's called um, I've got one here with a long slender straight handle on it that I've made that's kind of a, a long little uh, spoon part in there uh, I've got oops, drop that one let me get it here this is kind of a little dipper here uh, you can see the side view and the handle there that's shaped and then it's kind of a kind of a deep little dipper there or like a more like a ladle type thing but a, 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 a little dipper um here's a little bigger one uh this again has got the fluted handle on it it's got a little flare to the end of it this is more like a like a mini soup dipper thing it's got a little lip around the uh the dipper part of it that i carved in there um here is a long kind of a I call this kind of a canoe shaped dipper it's got a, a grooved handle on the back and uh, kind of a little canoe shaped a little longer elongated uh, type uh, dipper part of it um, then I've got one with kind of a mini dipper with a little extra long handle with a slot in the back for your uh, uh, for your fingers and then I got a couple of slots up here if you want to hold it here but long handle got a groove in the handle there I carved and it's got a small little dipper on it kind of odd and then my last one I'll show you this is kind of a melon uh, baller there it's flat it's kind of like a spatula but it's curved and it's flat doesn't have a dipper but it's for rounding out a melon type thing in there but um, those are the spoons she keeps them in this little bucket on the window sill to use them for decorations now I want to show you talking about birds I want to show you my birds that uh, that I carve um, the first one I'll show you these are called comfort birds this is a little sparrow uh, I kind of watch the birds out front and kind of mimic the shapes that I see these are little fat birds they're called comfort birds because you're supposed to give these to people in in distress or that's gone through some trauma or some hardship uh, they just fit in the palm of your hand and they're nice to hold they're comfortable uh, they're cute to look at this one's got a little pointed beak he's got a little grooved tail where there's tail feathers come together and he's got some uh, grooves there to uh, distinguish his wings and that's a little little English sparrow uh, carving uh, that uh, I made I just start out of a piece a square piece of basswood and uh, carve them and then sand them and then finish them out all my spoons and my birds are finished out with roasted walnut oil uh, it's an edible product uh, but it's used for cooking and and I use it uh, to season my 
my birds and my spoon. Now all of these have been sitting for a while and so I noticed these birds, I picked them up out of my wife's office this morning to show you. Uh, these all need to be reseasoned. They they need to be uh, recoded. Uh, the next one I'm going to show you. This is a little house wren. Uh, you notice he's got got an upturned tail, and uh, if you can see, he's got uh, some little uh, grooves of where his uh, eyes go. There, got the little upturned tail, and they they sit flat on a table you can put them on your dining room table or in your office or uh, put them on the dash of your car wherever you want them they're just little comfort birds I've carved several sets of these and give them away uh, I've sold some they sell uh, for $25 a piece uh, and people just snatch them up they, they love these little birds and uh, if you want one, I'll put up my email address at the end of this video. And if you want a set, uh, or if you want just one, um, uh, I don't custom order. If you want a bird, just uh, send me a link, uh, your address, or your email. And then I'll email you back when your bird is done. And like I said, they're $25 a piece. Uh, and uh, it's my liberty to carve what I want because I just uh, no two birds are alike I've never carved two birds the same and so you're gonna get one of a kind or you'll get a set or you can get two of them uh, I normally don't sell more than three uh, to a customer but if you want more I, I can do do that uh, I work at my own speed it takes a little bit to carve these not a long time but but uh, a few hours to uh, get a bird. I might start one one day and finish it the next or two days later, just depends until I get the right shape. I may redo it. Uh, I've scratched some and threw them in the trash because they just didn't turn out right. But this is a little, a little house wren. Again, got the upturned tail. And uh, the last one I'll show you, this is a little water loon. Uh, got this idea from seeing birds off of National Geographic uh, uh, programs on TV. It's got the long bill, got the downturn tail like the loons do up in Michigan and Minnesota on the lake. Uh, uh, he's real cute. Again, sits flat, and uh, it's uh, they're just a lot of fun to carve and to make for people. Um, He's got a long little beak on him and, and again, a rounded head on there. So if, uh, if you're interested, like I said, I'll put a link to my, uh, uh, to my email on there. And if you want to order one, uh, it's uh, calendeb at centurytail.net. But I'll, I'll print up the link on, on the video uh, uh, before I close it out. If you want a, a spoon, a specialized spoon, um, I, I specialize in the miniature spoons. Uh, I don't carve too many of the, of the longer spoons like some people do. Uh, I love to carve the mini spoons. They're more intricate. They're, they're a little more detailed. Um, but uh, I've seen some carvers out there that do beautiful, beautiful work on the big spoons. And the big ladles but one one day I may uh, decide to carve a big spoon uh, the walnut is a little challenging it's a little harder wood the oak is challenging uh, the rest of them are basswood and uh, popular and uh, popular I guess is the right term um, but uh, I love that's what I do in my spare time uh, my freedom time I, I'm not doing much carving right now in the winter time because I sit outside and do it when it's when it's nice, it's too cold in the garage right now. So, come springtime, uh, I don't. Uh, I'll I'll start recarving again outside. I've got a plug-in outside. I do use a little Dremel tool on the fine detail work, but mostly it's done by uh, carving tools, uh, chisels and gouges and uh, uh, knives and that type of stuff. But I do use a Dremel tool occasionally to do the fine little little detail work um, and uh, so I don't do any carving here in the little man cave it's just too dusty too dirty 
uh, too many chips flying around and that, that type of stuff. So I don't do any carving in the man cave, but I will do some outside come this spring. So if you're interested, uh, that's just what I do in the hobby. I just wanted to make this video today. Uh, uh, on my midweek, I'll give you an update on my midweek thing. Now yesterday, uh, my wife and I went into Springfield, uh, Missouri. We had to um, return some stuff uh, that uh, we didn't order from Amazon or they sent us double. I uh, got this new desk that I got the camera set up on. And they sent me two of them for some reason. They charged me for two of them. So I had to send that back and some other stuff. Um, and um, we, um, we stopped at Popeye's Fried Chicken, <laughs> my, my favorite chicken place to eat. And so I had a splurge day. And so last night, I was clear back up to 361, uh, my starting weight uh, on January 17th. But this morning, I'm back down to 357, so I'm up. So by Saturday, I need to be down another four pounds, which I think I can do. I'm going to watch what I eat today, tomorrow, Friday, and then Saturday, and see where I'm at. Uh, it seems like sometimes when I have a bigger meal in the day, I tend to lose, rather than when I skimp a little bit. I don't know why that is. I would think that... The fewer calories I take in, um, it might help me to lose weight. But my wife, she's a nurse, and she said I need to maintain about 1,200 calories a day in order to lose weight. I don't know anything about that. I'll take her word for it. But uh, if you got any suggestions of why I've hit this plateau, let me know. So I'm going to end this video and publish it. And uh, I've just downloaded my new version of uh, Wondershare Filmora X. That's what I use to edit my videos on. So I am uh, I'm anxious to uh, to try that out. Um, uh, I was getting a watermark uh, posted as of yesterday. Uh, my free trial was up, and so I went ahead and purchased the. The package and uh, got it uploaded and a lot of extra stuff on it so we'll see what happens okay I uh, love you guys subscribe hit the bell and uh, help me reach that hundred I still haven't reached that hundred mark yet come on guys help me out and let me reach that hundred subscriber mark and uh, give me some encouragement there uh, but if you don't want to that's fine too uh, somebody will come along and subscribe um, but again, I appreciate y'all for watching the videos. I hope this is interesting to you. If you want a spoon or if you want a bird, let me know. Send me an email and uh, I'll get you hooked up. Uh, if you uh, contact me right away uh, after you watch this video, I'll give you some special pricing. How's that? Uh, I'll cut the spoons down to, uh, they normally sell, like I said, uh, 10 to 15 dollars uh, I'll cut it all the way down how about five dollars a mini spoon this time and I'll cut the birds down these birds used to go for 25 uh, I'll cut those down to 20 a piece because they're they're more intricate the spoons I can cut pretty fast but man I'm just I, I'm giving these spoons away at five dollars a piece so anyway if you want one contact me and let me know that you watch this video and uh, I will uh, get you hooked up. Okay? Love you. Appreciate you. Uh, this is Cal from Little Man Cave on a Wing and a Prayer. I'm out of here. Bye.